Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide, how to uninstall Linux to be in dual boot with Windows. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uninstalling Linux to be in from a dual boot setup with Windows involves several steps. Before making any changes, ensure you have backed up all important data from both your Linux and Windows partitions. First, delete Linux partitions, Start your computer and boot into Windows. Press Windows key plus X and select Disk Management. Identify the Linux partitions. You might have one or two or more partitions for Linux. For example, the Linux system partition and the Linux swap partition, etc. They usually don't have a drive letter and are labeled as healthy, primary partition, or similar. Right click on each Linux partition and select delete volume. Confirm the deletion. This will create an allocated space on your drive. Right click on the Windows partition, usually C, and select extend volume. Follow the prompts to extend the partition into the unallocated space. Second, delete to be in directory from the EFI system partition. Go to the search bar and search for CMD. Right click command prompt and select Run as Administrator. Type Disk Part and press Enter. Type List Disk and press Enter to see the list of disks. Identify your disk, usually Disk 0, and type Select Disk 0. Replace 0 with the appropriate disk number, and press Enter. Type List Volume and press Enter to see the list of volumes. Identify the EFI System Partition, ESP, usually labeled as System or EFI, and in this case type Select Volume 2. Replace to with the volume number, and press Enter. Type assign letter equals Z, or any available drive letter, and press Enter. Type exit to leave disk part. Type Z colon and press Enter to navigate to the EFI system partition. Type CDEFI and press Enter. Type dir to list the directories. You should see a directory named in this case to be in. Type rmdir forward slash s forward slash q to be in and press enter to delete the Debian directory and its contents. Third. Remove EFI boot entry. Go to the search bar and search for CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Type bcd edit forward slash enum firmware and press enter. Identify the boot entry you want to delete and copy its identifier. In this case it's Debian. Type bcd edit forward slash delete identifier. Replace identifier with the actual identifier and press enter. Restart your computer to ensure the changes take effect. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.